So if you've been following the series, you know that about 45 minutes ago, I talked about how I needed to go to work. That has not changed. If anything, it's become more dire. But it's okay. Because we've never been in this territory in the arena before, and I figure we owe it to ourselves and you and us and everyone to see how it plays out. I could continue it later. There's nothing stopping that. But sometimes I try and play this when I get off of work and I'm tired because, you know, I've just worked a long shift. It's already the end of the night. So it's getting close to bedtime, and I don't play optimally. And I don't want to ruin a run because I decided to put it off and then go, Oh, I made stupid mistakes. Oh, well. This is a surprisingly decent start. We're going to toss the hex for later. We're going to keep our Nerubian egg activator, and I love that fill-in with the harvest golem. That's pretty solid overall. There are better starts, sure, but I can't really complain about this. We've seen worse starts. <laughs> Greetings. Um, I don't know why you would coin out the Acolyte of Pain, except to be crazy. Next turn. So this turn, we're going to coin out the Rubian Egg. Maybe it gets silenced. That would be sad. We're hoping he plays something with three health. Just equip the axe and passed. Hmm. Well, let's totem. Spell damage one. Hopefully he'll attack it. Because again, the thought process is, you know, like, oh no. We don't want him to have that. He'll get a boost on his spell damage. We don't have barely barely any of it. Even that's not that bad. We can just trade with it, I guess. Probably just trading with it. Could lightning bolt it, too. And not trade. I kind of like that, too. I like everything. I don't not like something. Or it's the very weak play of, like, Acolyte of Pain, which I don't like that. Let's just do it this way. Goodbye. Totem. We'll see if I spend his other weapon on it. The 1-1. One, one. Gonna keep that Rock Biter and Ruby and Egg in our back pocket. We might end up eating a Silence because of it, but that's okay. Shield block plus attacking the minion wouldn't be that bad, really. Nope. Gonna let the minion rock. Alright, then we're gonna take this time to pain. Hit for a whopping one, baby. He can choose to kill it, but we don't mind. Huh. <laughs> the big boy. We actually don't really have an answer for that yet. Do we have one now? Well, the Yeti's not a bad start. Okay. Might just be doing that. Sure, we can risk taking a bunch to the face, but... Then next turn we can kill off his thing if, we, if he doesn't take care of these. Let's try it. It's a little unconventional, but let's go for it. We have full health. If we were down like 20 or so, I'd be more worried about 7 of the face. Ooh, the Arcanite Reaper isn't helpful. And we are taking 7 of the face. Hex. A great time to see you, my friend. Pack it up. And I think the remainder of this play should be more minions, which means the Harvest Golem. This is why we have to be mindful of our health in this matchup, though, because the warrior ends up with a lot of weapons. I think the Arcanite Reaper is a rare, but the War Axe isn't. I'm not even sure the Reaper is. And they also have that enemy that lets you summon a weapon, so you have to be careful because all of a sudden you can unexpectedly be taking damage to the face. That's a bit of a nuisance, but it's okay. That is more of a nuisance, but that's a big pain in the ass. Okay, he made the right decision. Killing the 2-2 would have been awful silly. 
Okay, well, we used our hex, so we need a better answer now. Silencing the one three is not bad. It's not great. We can actually kill the giant, too. It's going to take everything we've got to do it, though. We can Ragnaros next turn if we need it. Okay, let's do it. This is weird, but we're going to do it. We had to spend a lot to get there, though. Let's get a, let's get a little dude out there. A taunter. That certainly can't hurt. We have a lot of health left, you know, left. 23, but doesn't feel comfortable, you know? Because we know the warrior has plays like Execute just waiting to kill Ragnaros with relative ease. You gotta be kidding me! Another huge dude. Gonna have to start getting some of our own out here pretty soon. Um, just Ragnaros is still an option. Clear his board except for the 7 6 and take our chance with what we get. We have a taunter out to block if we don't hit the 7 6. I think that's the right play. We kill here. We kill here, and we hope to hit the 7-6, strangely enough. We don't care about face right now. That'll do. Sure, Whirlwind and Execute and stuff are very option. Oh, my goodness. We pulled one of those in the rares, huh? We've lost once like this before, when our opponent just managed to copy our good cards for nothing. It was frustrating. We need to not have our Ragnaros get hit. Hit one of my other minions, please. That's fine. Hmm. So we gotta start thinking about what happens if our Ragnaros doesn't hit his Ragnaros, which we're really hoping for. I think we need as many minions out as possible. Which means you, 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 and you're hitting the face. Come on, Ragnaros, hit your friend Ragnaros. Okay. <laughs> That would have been the simplest way to make sure that we were done with this duel. Now we have to kind of sweat it here. Sorry that happened. I thank you. <laughs> thank you for feeling my pain, because you understand why that would have been over for you if it had hit you. Okay, so we got a fade Ragnaros hitting our Ragnaros again. The odds are not in their favor. I don't know what was going on with that. So he's doing just what we did and minioning up. We need to take away that ability somehow. Let's take a look at our options here. Let's try Forked Lightning first. Let's hope it hits the Divine Shield. That's the simplest way to do this. It did. Excellent. So now we're going to kill it. We're going to equip this weapon. We're going to hit the 4-5. I'm going to hit the 4-5. Well, it's a 4-3 now. I'm going to hit to the face, and I'm going to hope Ragnaros does his job again. But even the face this time isn't terrible. God. It's just if it takes out Ragnaros, this is over. Now it's not over yet. Because we armored up, he's going to have to hit, what, the Yeti? Yeah, I think this is over no matter what. Ragnaros... Kills our 6 5. It doesn't matter though. We'll just finish it off. Well, the Ragnaros game got complicated. Uh, a little bit frightening considering what's on the line here, but we face the end of the journey here. No matter what happens, except for a draw or a disconnect, the next match can be the last match. Either we win and we go to 12 and get what's hopefully an awesome looking key. This one's pretty cool. Or we lose, and we finish with really no shame, because we have come quite a long ways on this. Come check it out with me, won't you? It should be pretty cool either way.